Okay, in this video, I will show you guys how to integrate cosine of ln x dx. And this right here, it's a pretty standard calculus 2 integral. So if you are taking Cal 2, then this is for you. And I will also show you guys two ways to do this. So be sure you check this out. Be sure you watch both ways and let me know which way you like better. And before we start, let me just ask you guys, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I want to thank all my supporters throughout the years for supporting my channel. Anyway, the first way is that we are going to start off with a u sub. Let u equal to the inside function. So I will write down u equals to ln x. And then I will differentiate both sides. So we get du equals to 1 over x dx. And to isolate the dx, let's just multiply by x on both sides. So we see that dx equals to x du. So that's pretty much it. And now we'll take this integral to the u world, and we see this is the integral of cosine, and the input is the u right here, and the dx is this. But you know, if you just put x du right here, this x is not going to be invited in the u world. And unfortunately, we don't have the over x down below to cancel things out, so that's not good. But it's okay, this is just an easy fix. To do so, you look back to u equals to ln x. And you know we can just do e to this power, e to that power, so that e and ln cancel. And this, it's the same as saying e to the u equals to x. So, right here, for this x, I will actually replace that with e to the u. I will put this right here, and I will just write it down, e to the u, along with this du. And now, this integral is completely in the u world. But the question is, how can we continue from here? We need to use integration by parts. And I will show you guys with a DI format, okay? And hopefully you guys have seen my other videos of similar videos on this. And if you haven't, you can check out all the links in the description, all right? Okay, so I will just do this on the side because this is a repeated situation. So I will just make a note on the side. Let's write this down right here. We have to integrate. And let me just put on e to the u first, and then cosine u du. And I will use the di format, so I will just put on d and an i. And let's put on some plus, minus, plus, minus to get ready. And remember, the di format is not magic. This is just integration by parts. This is just a much easier way to set up, to format the integration by parts. The d is like the u, the i is like the dv in the traditional udv format. But anyway, enough talking. <laughs> Let's see. Which one shall we pick to be integrated? And the answer to that is, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I will just go ahead and do cosine u right here. And if you want to pick e to the u right here, that's okay too. But anyway, you can try that on your own if you reverse this. The answer in the end will be the same anyway. Anyway, since I make my choice, I'll just continue. To integrate cosine u, we will actually get positive sine u. And we are doing the integral, so be really careful with the plus minus sign, right? Integral of cosine u is positive sine u. And you can do this again. Integrating sine u, we get negative cosine u. So this is pretty much it. And you see that if you differentiate e to the u, you just keep getting e to the u. And in fact, I'm going to stop right here because I see the function part, e to the u, and I also see the cosine u right here, and that's a repeat of the original. I know we do have the minus, but we are paying attention to the function part. If it's a repeat, you stop. So you didn't need the last row. These three rows are enough. And now to continue. Remember, whenever you multiply the diagonal along with the sign in front, that's the answer already. So the first part of the answer is positive e to the u times sine u. So let's write that down. e to the u sine u. And next, I will do this diagonal, but be sure you attach the minus in front. Minus e to the u times negative cosine u minus minus, you know, it becomes plus. And we have e to the u times cosine u, like this. And lastly, I will take the product of this row, and whenever you do a product of a row, 
this is still going to be an integral. And you see, you multiply positive times minus, you get minus. So this is a minus. And remember, a product of a row is still an integral. So that's why I put on the integral right here. And because I put a minus out already, so the inside is just e to the u times cosine u like this. And then, of course, since this is integral, so that's attached to du. And now you see, on the left-hand side, we have the integral of e to the u cosine u du. On the right-hand side, we have minus integral of e to the u cosine u du. So I just have to bring this to the left-hand side, combine them, and I can solve for that integral. So I will just add the integral of e to the u cosine u du on both sides. This way, this and that will cancel. So I will come here to do the same. I add the integral of e to the u cosine u du. Okay? So we see that this is like one integral and then plus another integral. You get two integrals. Haha. -ha. Two integrals of <laughs> e to the u times cosine u du. And then the right hand side states the same right here. So we have e to the u sine u plus e to the u cosine u. And I want to isolate this integral, but we have the 2 in front. So what can we do? We can simply multiply by 1 half, right? And I'll just multiply by 1 half on both sides. So that this and that will be cancelled. And on the right-hand side, I just have the integral e to the u cosine u du being equal to of course, you distribute the 1 half, so you get 1 half e to the u sine u, 1 half, right, you add right here, and e to the u cosine u. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to put on plus c yet because this is like the appetizer. Round tree is right here, right? Anyway, this right here is just going to be that. So let me just write this down. We have 1 half e to the u sine u. So let me just put this down. And then we add it with 1 half e to the u cosine u, right? So that's pretty much it for that. Well, we did the integration. Now we just have to go back to the x world. So we see 1 half is still the 1 half. e to the u is x. So I'll just put that down right here. And sine u, u is l and x. So right here, I will write down sine of L and X. And then we pretty much do the same for the rest. We add it with 1 half. E to the U is X. And then cosine U and the U is L and X. So cosine of L and X. And finally, we're all done. So I'll just put down a plus C right here to garnish my answer. And that's pretty much it. This right here is integral for the original. And now let me show you guys another way to do this. Maybe we didn't need the u sub at all. And let's check this out right here. And this time we'll actually just do integral general parts right away and you'll see what will happen. And of course, let's do the di format and we'll put down our work right here. So let me put down the d and the an i. And of course, let's have the plus minus on the side to get ready. And now we look back. This is cosine of L next. So this is actually just one thing right here, right? And of course, I cannot put this to be integrated because that's exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so with that being said, I will just put down cosine of L and X right here to be differentiated. And for the I column right here, I'll just put on one. And integrating one, I will get X. Differentiate cosine of L and X. We know that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So be sure, you see, we have this negative right here because the derivative of cosine. And this negative was just the setup, okay? And continue, the input stays the same, and the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of L and X is 1 over X. So I'll just write it down like this. And now, you see, I will just do the product of the diagonal. That's the first part of the answer. I will write down X times cosine L and X. Let's write that down first. Right here. And remember, when you do the product of a row, 
that's still an integral. So let's focus on this right here. And notice, if you multiply this and that, the x will cancel out. So you actually just have to integrate the function part-wise sine of ln x. And that's similar to the original one, huh? Original, we have cosine, and now we have to deal with sine. Maybe it works out pretty well. I don't know. We'll see. Well, be careful with the sign. Here we have minus times minus, so we get plus right here. And that's still an integral. And if you multiply this and that, you see the x will cancel out. So let me just put down sine of ln x dx right here. Okay? Once again, this x and that x will cancel out when you multiply them. And you can just put that inside of the integral right here. Hmm. How can I deal with this integral though? Same thing as the original. Let me just do that again. But this time, you see, we have to stop right here for the DI method. That was the first run through, right? I am not going to continue because if you continue with the same D column right here, the derivative of this is going to be pretty bad. <laughs> So we actually have to stop right here. We focus on this integral, and then we do another di setup for this right here. So here is the di for that integral. I'll put down the plus minus on the side to get ready. I'm going to differentiate sine of ln x and integrate 1, similar to the first part. But you have to do them separately. You have to do this separately, OK? And the reason I knew to stop is because I had a sense of danger. I didn't want to continue. But actually, the secret is, in fact, I can deal with this integral by doing this again. That's the deal. Anyway, enough talking. Integrating 1, we get x. Differentiate this. The derivative of sine is cosine. And the input stays the same. And the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x. So let's put it down like this. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? And now, I will just write this down again. Here we have x times cosine of ln x. And this is going to be from here. And I will just do the diagonal. And let's see, we have this times that. So let me put down the x first. And that's plus sine ln x times x. So that's x sine ln x. OK, x goes first. And then I will have to multiply by this row. And remember that it's still an integral. So I will actually just write this down in red right here. This is still an integral. This is a minus integral because you have the minus and the rest is positive. So it's minus integral. And you see, similar situation. When we do this times that, the x will cancel out. So we just have the inside as cosine of ln x dx. And you see, this right here, it's secretly a repeated situation, right? So this is what we are going to do. I am going to write this down again on the left-hand side. So we have the integral cosine of ln x dx. And this is pretty much all that. We did all the work right here, right? And now, I will just have to move this to the other side, similar to the first method. So I will just add the integral of cosine of ln x dx on both sides. And I will do that right here as well. So you guys can comment down below and let me know which method you guys like better. Maybe with the u sub first, or maybe just as how it is, right? Just straightforward like that. Anyway. This and that will be canceled. And this plus that is 2 of the integral of cosine of ln x dx. And that's equal to this plus that. And in the end, to get rid of this 2, I'm just going to multiply by 1 half right here. And then multiply by 1 half right here. So finally, we see that. And we're done. So of course, in the end, we can just put on plus c and box the answer and be happy. All right, so this is it, and hopefully you guys all like this video, and if you guys do, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thank you so much, and that's it.